What up, stackers? Big Sack McGee here. How are you doing today? Well, it's a sunny but frigid Saturday where I'm at, and I hope wherever you're at that you're having a fantastic weekend. I do have a package to unbox here in just a little bit. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And uh, before I get to that, just want to talk briefly about how I've been uh, spending my last few days. Um, I've been troubleshooting some uh, refrigeration problems. Well, and the joys of being a homeowner, right? Um, I've successfully tinkered with my fridge in the past. I replaced a, a solenoid that controlled the, the water intake for the, you know, the front water and ice dispensers in the past. I've, that's been fixed for about the last five years, which is fantastic, but struggling a little bit with uh, this one. So in the off chance that any of you out there are skilled in the refrigeration arts, at the end of this video, I'm just going to uh, kind of talk about a little bit about what the problem is that I have and what I've kind of thought it might be. And just in, just in the case, uh, maybe you could listen to the symptoms, and if you have any input, I would be forever uh, grateful. So that'll be at the end. So for those of you not interested, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, So yeah, I've been spending the last few days kind of tinkering with that um, and I was hoping to do uh, some more videos but I was gonna have to just wait a few more days I think but regardless we're here to see some uh, unboxing and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, I do have to give a quick shout out um, to the stacking nerd because this is one of the deals that she had posted in her uh, you know, she does it pretty regularly, um, every few days, um, kind of the deals that you can find online. And so I was able to take advantage of this deal that she had posted through a uh, combination with eBay Bucks. So, uh, stacking her, I appreciate it, and looking forward to seeing what's in this box. Okay, so here it is. Finally some new gold for the stack. This is a uh, 20 francs Helvetia, Helvetia, I don't know how you say that. Let's get a good look here. This is, um, I believe this is about a fifth of an ounce of gold, like 0.18 or 1.9. And with the deal that Stacking Nerd uh, posted and um, eBay Bucks, I was able to pick this up right around spot, just a little bit over. I cannot read the date on there, as cause I'm, I need reading glasses to be able to see that. But if I had to guess, it looks like 1947. Is that? Look, can't tell. I think it might be 1947. But uh, this particular coin looks like it's in terrific condition. Um, I've mentioned in the past I've had to stop buying from Atmex because my state requires sales tax on online purchases of anything, uh, which is fine and dandy, and places like Atmex enforce that. The place that I picked this up does not, or at least has has not <clears throat> made been made uh, aware of that yet, so I was able to pick this up without having to do that beautiful luster on that. So yeah, a little bit more gold, and again, thanks to the stacking nerd for uh, helping me. Um, it's one of those situations where sometimes you like to take the time to be able to just sift through the deals and, you know, add to watch lists and then kind of see where, you know, what sticks out the most, and in this particular case, I didn't have a whole lot of time to spend in front of my computer uh, looking for deals, and so seeing that she had made a video, especially a eBay bucks worthy, you know, of these ideas and things that you can get, uh, made it so much easier. So I was able to pick this up, and also something that will be uh, has yet to be unboxed. So thank you, Stacking Nerd. Beautiful piece of gold. This is not my first twenty francs uh, like this that I have, but I do enjoy the fractionals that can be had for as close to spot as possible. So we'll happily add this to the gold stack. And maybe it's it's in probably close to time to maybe doing a full gold stack review at some point. Um, I did all my silver bars recently, and that was fun to get an update on that. So maybe we'll do that soon. Yeah, just a nice coin. Let's see what it's... 
think on the edge. Oh, sorry, I can't get that close, I guess. Cool. Well, there you go. About a fifth of an ounce of gold to add this to add to the stack. Um, yeah, I guess uh, for those of you that are just watching for the gold, there it is. Um, beyond that, my refrigeration question. So let me talk briefly about what's been going on with that. So um, one day I came home, opened up my ref my freezer, and noticed that uh, thing the temperature was not what it should be. It was warmer than it should be. Um, ice was melting in the the place where that accumulates you know the stuff at the top of the freezer was kind of uh, soggy you could tell that it had uh, it was too warm in there and in, in the same fashion the refrigerator side I have a site uh, first of all I have a Kenmore cold spot from 2002 I'll put the serial number um, not the serial number the model number on the screen here and uh, it's a side by side with the ice maker in the freezer side door the refrigerator side was also too warm um, the first thing I did was I cleaned out underneath where the there's like big vents on the bottom and I just there was some dust and, and things like that I got that all cleaned out and without doing anything uh, a few hours later everything was perfectly cold again I checked the temperatures right around zero for the freezer right around uh, 40 for the refrigerator side I was like oh okay I didn't know what had happened um, and it ran fine for what I thought was at least another day and then come to find out that again the it was everything was getting too warm and so there was like a pattern of whenever the defrost was kicking on it was either spending too long in that cycle or something like that like it wasn't cycling properly so in doing my research I was thinking maybe it's the defrost timer that is faulty but I mean it could be a, it could be a lot of different things obviously without on, on getting everything uh, taking apart and getting the the multimeter in there to check what's not uh, working thermostat wise or the control board or whatever but uh, I just thought in case there's my what, what I should check first you know I was looking at parts online I can't even locate a defrost timer for uh, my model of refrigerator you know the, um, so if anyone has any thoughts on what would be causing that to happen it seems like it runs perfectly well for like a day and then when it goes into that defrost um, section it just does not come out of it when it should so I don't know if I need to replace the thermostat or, or what so um, I did notice this though just uh, just today I had checked in the morning and everything was too warm and uh, so I tapped on uh, like in the refrigerator side up at the top where all the 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 little board is for the electronics and immediately the compressor started running so if that is a hint for anybody, I'm not sure what that would be. But uh, if anyone has any advice, I would love to hear from you. So thanks for considering, and thanks for watching this video. This is Big Sack McGee, and I hope that you guys have a tremendous weekend. See you later.